Michael! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. It sounds like I'm listening to a movie. You spoil me, honestly. <laughs> I, I know how good you are. No, that, no. Oh, I know. Just, <laughs> it's like I'm just primary colours and you filled it all in, oh, mate. Oh, thank you, man. Hey, welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jet Duxbury and his name is... Mike Patrick. And we're going to be talking about the YC61. There's going to be other videos with Michael on the montage and some tips out there. But we're just going to talk about what you think about this. Yes. Um, and we're going to fist bump and get into the video. Yes. <laughs> Let's start with the organ, Michael. Yes. I've done, I feel embarrassed that I have a series of videos where I was comparing these to the Nord and I think the Korg SV series as well. Yeah. And strangely enough, it didn't quite sound like that. Uh, so <laughs> what, <laughs> talk, talk us through your settings because there's different parameters you can control on there. Yeah. Um, so you actually have, I mean, what I've got right now, I had the chorus effect on it. This is without it. Um, and I've literally just got 16th out, 8th. It's got a bit of drive on it to give it the crunch, but I, I really like the chorus, which is a C3, chorus C3. You know what, I genuinely just like to take my time. But I really like, I think the, the, the kind of the drive gives it like a really nice kind of character, mm. the, the chorus. In the, from memory, are there, there's different ages of Hammond in there. Yes. Have you fiddled with that or did you just go with the one that was out the back? I, I, I like, well this one's called the H1, this is the tone wheel uh, type. Okay. You, all can, you can kind of get like transistor organs as well, so the Fafisa is... And then, um, yeah, you can kind of, you can, there's, there's... Um, but you're rocking with the H1 out there. Yeah, the, the H1 is, is the tone, well, that's my favourite one. But wow. um, yeah, there are other organs that you can kind of mess with and obviously put effects on and stuff like that. Now you're used, you've, you've played the real Dilia, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not... And the, should we give a shout out to Gavin as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to shout out. I have to, I want to just honourably mention Gavin Powell, uh, Nicky uh, Brown, who's he's like the senior, but Gavin's a good friend, and it's, it's one of the, he will hate me for this, but I'm sorry, he's... We need to get Gavin in. Yeah, he's, no. a, he's a great organ player, and he's so humble about it, but he, he knows how to... Hammond, for me, is almost like a roller coaster. It, it's cool, <laughs> it looks great, but when you get on it, for me, like, oh, I want to get off now. Like, he, but it would be a joy to get, get him, and he's one yeah, of the nicest guys. He... But I was going to say that you've been on the real one, and I've found that when I've been on a real one, uh, it's the way you're using the volume there. Yeah. Uh, do you feel, I think, how does that feel to you? Because you've got an expression pedal down there. Yeah, yeah. And I think what it is, is that people get maybe confused with expression and volume, and there, there's a difference. So expression is more, you express what you're doing. Volume is like, so what you'll notice is if you do connect an expression pedal, I can't turn it all the way down. It's always gonna stop somewhere. And it's almost like an expression pedal lets you kind of accentuate what you're saying. So if I'm saying. You see what I mean? So it's like I'm expressing what I'm doing and that's me explaining it as best as I can. Like I said, there's pros out there, but yeah, it is more expressing than volume. Okay. So yeah. The Hammond, you've got, so you're rocking, you've got a Montage 7, uh, yes. Montage 8. Where does the YC61, other than organ, do you use it for any other bits, you think? Oh, so this is the best thing about the YC. It does everything. It has a really good organ um, engine, but I can also use it for whatever I like. So if I want to play Rhodes. And as you can hear, the Rhodes are like, mm. they're legit, they're legit Rhodes. There's more like dust and grit in there. They seem a bit more like singer songwritery. Yes. Yeah, it, it, and to, the great thing about it is um, I can actually let, so it's got keys A and keys B, so you can layer sounds. So I can actually, if I want, um, play two roads, which I, I will quickly do. And the good thing about this is it's very, um, everything's on board, so you can do everything in real time. So yeah. I've got two roads here. Ooh. 
And then if you want to get technical, you can pan one here and pan Mate, one there. Mate, you have taught... I'm stealing that. <laughs> you, you, there's another video on the montage and, and he was like, yeah, I've cooked up this road sound. I've, I've laid... And, I, and I'm like, why have I never thought to do that? <laughs> and you know what? The crazy thing is, I mean, and there's nothing wrong with it, but everyone loves to use presets. But it, once you get into a keyboard, it's always great to just like experiment and what because mm -hmm. what someone else likes you might absolutely hate so um yeah it's just it's really good to, that you can kind of layer but that two roads thing it's yeah. like guitarists use two different flavors of amps exactly. to fill out the sound yeah and i never thought oh duh. well why can't we you yeah I mean? and you were using the scene function on before to kind of stay within a patch and um like that's what you're getting at right you yeah. can flick things on and off yeah and i can even so you can hear so like this is roads one and this is Rhodes 2. So this one's brighter. So when I'm actually like. You can do it with any sound. You can do it like. With Instead of EQ, it's like put a dark one for the dark and exactly. the bright and put them together. Yeah, I mean, I can split it. I can do all of that. And, um, but yeah, it just pushes things to a different level. So it just, it just makes your sound automatically sound fuller instead of everybody using one road sound. Yeah. In this video, just because we are freestyling, yes. you know, all the time we're making up videos as we go, I realised that this should be, the after hearing that Hammond thing, can we do a little bit of an elbow and then get into probably, can you give us three key tips for Hammond playing? Okay, cool. Can we do that? Let's do it. I can do my best. Let's get straight into it. Cool. What's it, f first tip for Hammond, Hammond ears. First tip for Hammond is you have <laughs> you have nine jaw bars. Jaw bars, they have every say about your sound. So depending on the situation. With Hammond, it's not like a simple you have piano and you always play the piano. Every situation has a jaw bar set in. So if I'm just, you know, if you just want to play mellow, you just want to pull out the 16 and mess with the eight. I know you know this. And then oh. you, and that gives you like that warm sound. So this is this is I always start with this. And then as time goes by, if you want more of a bigger sound, you pull out more jaw bars. I'm talking in really, really basic terms. So, so it's almost like you're making a, you're building, it's like a solo, but you're building your sound. Mm -hmm. So if I'm, if I'm literally, if you're playing in a particular situation, mainly in gospel, because that's where I come from. In gospel, you start off with a very simple sound. And depending on if things get hype, you know, if you're going to solo, you're going to pull out. If you want to, uh, the Leslie, a lot of people, you know, it sounds great, but really what a Leslie is for, sorry, a rotary, uh, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, very right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, ro a, a, a rotary speaker is for when you kind of want to build tension. So, so a lot of the time when you're playing warm Almost like you can kind of, build tension and you should take advantage of that. So the rotary speakers, what I'm basically saying, it's really great for building tension. But if you're doing really intimate stuff, the key is to pick your moments. As mm -hmm. a, If you're playing organ, pick your moments or when you know if you're playing a song and things are kind of, if you're building to the chorus, make sure your Leslie's building. Whereas if it's like a big song and there's a quiet moment, let the Leslie fall. Plan your plan when you're gonna like, and, and kind of guess because every uh, rotary speaker again, it, some of them speed up quicker than others. Um, so it's really good that when you're playing, just pick your moments because if someone's soloing and you kind of, you know, you want to build tension, let the Leslie um, speed up. But if it's more of a moment, you know, let it fall and just... I'm playing church chords, but it goes for any kind of music, really. And you've got, I love that, that you've got that chorus. Can we hear it with and without it? Yeah, so this is actually without the chorus. have three different types so you've got uh, this is chorus one mm -hmm. without sorry chorus one without chorus with chorus two sorry there's a, uh, this is chorus two so it's almost like chorus what it does is um, it's, it's all about tension 
It's almost like it creates a sound, kind of. Do you ever use one and two, or do you just use zero and three? So I'm a zero and three. Yeah. So I use C three because C three like it hits the it's hardest. It's an effect, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But the young boys at the moment are using C two. I've seen a couple of young boys who are using C two, and C two sounds cool, but it doesn't have the hit that C C three has. And with chorus, it's almost like the more draw bars you have out, the better you hear it. So. <laughs> You, you know, it's all about tension and just building a moment, I suppose. So when you're thinking of going to the chorus, when you're just kicking up a notch, right? Yeah. So in church, like like I said, there's guys that do it a lot better than me. But in church, if you're if you're going for it, um, you put chorus in. If you if I hear mm -hmm. chorus, you you know it's kicking off. Chorus is almost like your grenade, yeah. like in a battle. It's like. <laughs> and when you're in church, do you ever, uh, or in that in that genre of music? Yeah. How does percussion play a part, or does it doesn't really rear its head, does it? You know what? Percussion is more, dare I say, a jazz thing. But there are guys I know that do tricks with percussion. I actually don't really love percussion too much. No, I find it a hard one. Yeah, but I have seen there's guys that will be in church. I hear and... Corey sometimes now and again yeah. on like a, on the on the runs. Yeah, it's it's more of a like a you know like you do stuff. But it's more like if you've got, you know what I mean, percussion will be at the top and you'll hold your chords on your left. But I don't really dance with percussion too much. Not, yeah, no, it's, it's a preference it's thing It's beautiful. Though. Right, yeah. and then um, one thing I'd love to pick your brain about, yes. and anyone who watches any Hammond videos, this is something that I have no, know nothing about. Okay. Which is, when I, and I, I'm putting you on the spot here. No, go, go. But I hear it in your playing too. It's these inner movements there seems to be a pinned note up here, seems to be a bass note, and then it's these walking motions in between the chords. Are you, think, I'm being very selfish here. No, but And, and like go. when I watch, you know, when I'm watching like an Eddie Brown or when I watch you yeah, and, yeah. and I watch Corey, there's these things going on in the middle. Yeah. Are these like rehearsed, like is it like muscle memory for you or is it are you being free are you just giving into the moment and are you thinking diatonically in the scale mm. and is there a formula that us mortals can learn or is it do we just need to hear it unfortunately i'm the worst person to ask because as far as i've got i know there's a way to know what it is but i it's almost like i've learned some from repetition and because i'm quite the thing is what people don't realize the um, organ and strings are very similar. They're very similar instruments. So when I started learning how to play strings on a keyboard, I deliberately learnt certain things or certain melodies within my hands that kind of work. So even if it's like, um, if you mean like if I'm playing a four. I, if I may say, I'm quite a melodic player, so I'm always playing. I'm always playing a melody. Like, so if I'm playing, I'll play it. As you play more and more, you hear these melodies, um, and they just come out. So I don't know if there's a theory to it. Well, there's like, a massive step. Yes. You're not thinking in chords. You're thinking a melody. Melody, yeah. And then. What I hear is that it's supporting it, your left hand underneath. Yes. And this is what uh, always has eluded me is, uh, and then I hear you almost rip my heart from one side of my chest <laughs> to the other side. And that, uh, to my ears, sounds like um, the trit uh, a tritone thing happening. Yeah. And yeah. do you have any points in the scale or is there a way that you can... Uh, do you see what I mean? Like you'll do a yeah. run and then it's like um, a very magnetic, like five one feel. Yeah. <laughs> it's, and this is the thing I hate that I, I don't know the theory behind it, but I, I know someone D does, but it's almost like, it's almost like with gospel, there's a sound. Everyone has, every area has a different sound. And the way I learned it was I would always hear it and I'd go home and try and figure it out and I couldn't until I saw somebody do like, Four different tritones. So, um, are we going to do it? Are yeah. We gonna... Oh, we're going to do it. I'm going to break it down. Oh. I'm going to break it down. There's good news and bad news. 
Which one do you want to hear first? Good news? Good news, yeah. All right. So the good news is you can learn tri so tritones, like I'm in, I'm in a D flat. So tritones is obviously your left hand is what gives it the sound. So it's, I'm not going to go too technical because of time, but I'm going to let you hear it. So it's almost like with tritones, if you get the, the tritone... You're going chromatically there, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going chromatic. Yeah. That's just chromatic. Well, yeah. So um, what you're hearing, that's the tritone. Mm -hmm. The hard part is, is that when you're... The thing is, it's a good thing when you're playing the Hammond, because you're, if you can play pedals, you can play the tritones with your hands. But it, because I'm not playing pedals, because the issue is without a bass note, the tritone sounds strange. That doesn't really make sense. So what bass notes do you hear under that chromatic? So that, in, in numbers, yeah. it'd be seven three. So it'd be C, F, yeah? Yeah. So, what I'm, so playing it without the bass note doesn't make sense. So that's seven, if I play the bass note, because I've got a bit. So you're, yeah, you're like two, five into, and then you go into B flat. Oh, so. Yeah. So I'm yeah. the, uh, but if, because I've got um, a left hand, I know we're going kind of out there. I can play the bass notes. Yeah, yeah. And then you can play, like this is a, uh, after that you can play three, six, two. Is that, so I would play seven, three, six. And then another tritone would be, So I'm basically, well, it's simply playing the same thing in another key, but it's, this is what I'm saying. It's almost like the theory behind it. And I'm telling you, someone's watching this saying he's a jerk. No, the no, theory no. is da, 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 da. But the way I learned was just, I had to learn yeah. by, ear, by ear. And so. It's like when I said to you, oh, you, cause I, I had to piece it together. Yeah. Like two, two, five, one theory. Yeah. Uh, the tritone thing. Again, if we're losing you, um, <laughs> There is stuff out there. Yeah, I've definitely. I've watched it tons of times. I bought ready DVDs on it. Yeah, yeah. And it seems to be more than anything, like most things, practice and that, playing that music. Like I'm yeah. saying to you, oh my God, what so much. It's like, I haven't played that much gospel music. But, but this is the thing. And the thing is, I remember I sat with Bingham years ago and he was like, show me the chords and I showed him. <laughs> but it was almost like, but yeah, where do I use them? <laughs> But where do I use, I love Dan, because he, he's fearless, yeah. he is fearless. But it's like, he was like, where do I use him? And I was like, I don't know. And so this, the thing is, you can learn loads of chords, but you have to be in situations. For example, like in church, it depends who you're playing bass with, because a bass player might not go there in particular songs. So you... So you, if he wasn't going to put that 2-5 in... You can't go then there. Then that yeah. tritone sounds mad. Yeah, it sounds crazy. And the thing is, there's different ways to play the same thing. So I'm playing... So that... Or, 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 there's like so many different ways. Right. What What are you thinking there? Because this is where, same with Gavin, I'd say to him, oh, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. It, they're so subtly different. Yeah. This, and um, so what are you thinking there? All I'm thinking, and it's weird, all I'm thinking is 7-3. Oh, but, okay. I, but I'm thinking which 7-3 am I playing? Because it depends on what, like if I'm playing, if we're on tour and we're playing a pop gig, I can't do. It, Cause it's not, it doesn't really, I'll do something more like, or, but it depends on what the situation is. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have to it's practice. It's the voicing the, yeah, of it, that and, uh, yeah. and the alterations, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's like, if I'm playing Neo Soul, it might be, it depends on, it depends. If I'm playing classical music, it might be just, but it's still a seven, uh, seven, three to six, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But this is why you have to practice it. So it's like, you have the maturity to understand what the song requires, which seven, three the song requires. So yeah, I That's hope what that- I learned so much from being <laughs> around you and Dan. Dan is, Dan Bingham, we're talking about, we've got all the other videos with Dan, we does the blindfold stuff and he's a, Oh, I love that. And, and how he works that in. We're doing pop gigs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Straight up like X Factor winners. And somehow 
you were they were stood there and they didn't vomit when they heard the harmony yeah you know, I, like so. the thing is because it is it's a delicate situation and i think and i had to learn because i came out of church and i was i had chords for days but it's almost like sometimes it's not <laughs> it's the tritone isn't it? yeah. it's not about like playing the it's almost like what the situation needs and i'm still learning even now sometimes it's like you can't I can't bring certain party, certain chords to the party because people will just be like, oh, what is that? That's... And it will sometimes throw off a, a singer. Like, I've done stuff like that and singer will just be like, no, that just didn't feel right. <laughs> she won't know how to say it, but she'll just no. it just doesn't feel like my song. So you have to... But I love it. That's what it, it yeah. adds so... That's when I'm listening to you in that intro as well, it just pulls me. Yeah. And it's, um, it's like a sharp hook out of nowhere. And it's so beautiful. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes like I just play chords, not beca- just because some people have a thing they call it bait chords. I sometimes play chords just to feel good. Certain chords, mm. like at the minute, this chord here. When I was a kid, everyone would play like. It's just certain chords just give a certain color and I just. Okay. Yeah. What is that then? So, mm, and this is going to end so the video. This is that Sorry, is another um, tritone. That is another tritone. Okay, cool. So it's just like a. Let's spell it out for the peeps. I'm going to spell it. So in C sharp, again, that's my favourite key at the moment. Mm. My left I hand. I instantly fall down. By the way, all the time. <laughs> the same with Drew. He's like, yeah, I'm in D flat. Man. What is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone has their. It's just that in Dorset we didn't play a D flat. Is it? Like we. Yeah, everything was just guitar keys. Oh, oh my so, god. So yeah. E A. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I knew it. So left hand is playing F sharp and E. So that is the tritone. I'm going to play up. Cool. And then I'm literally playing an A flat major. I'll call out the notes. It's um, A flat, C, E flat, and A flat. So it, it, Where's that going after it? Where are we going after? So I'm playing, so the context would be like a... And, and it's just like you can obviously invert it. And yeah, there's it gets technical. But then again, you have to know your bass player. Like my best one of my best friends is a bass player. So certain songs I know where he's gonna go, so I don't have to tell him. But I've got other friends that will play a song really funny and I you need a couple of rounds of a song to be like, okay. Mm. Like this is church again. Um but yeah, it's just it, it really is a lot of listening and Spending time working it out, and yeah, I hope that helped. It's be- what it does. It means I need to go listen. I need to learn, and we need to have you back. Oh. And if you want to hear any more, and I think there's a lot that you could unpack. Mm. Uh, there's things happening at Anderton's in the future where hopefully we can show off even more of your skills, mate, oh, and, mate. Uh, and make the sounds available. Check out our other videos we got going on. Uh, with Michael, thank you. Yes. Uh, is there anywhere else they can catch you on? Uh, Instagram? I, I'm on Instagram a lot. Uh, Polite Mike on Instagram. Before I forget as well, Yamaha have done this new thing called Sound Mondo, where you can basically upload sounds and download other people's sounds for free. Um, so I'm going to start cool. uploading like sounds for the YC, for Yamaha Montage, the refaces. So if you watch my Instagram every now and again, you'll see some cool sounds and they'll be on soundmondo.com. That's killer. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool title as well, Soundmondo. Yeah. That's a pretty, pretty dope from Yamaha. It, it's decent, man, honestly. It really is. I haven't seen anything like it. It's good. It's really good. Wait, wait if you could do me the honour of playing us out, let's double fist bump. Yes. All right, oh, let's do crikey. it. Oh, <laughs> crikey. I'm just going to go and chop myself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it.